Hello friends, today we make robotics arm using flex sensor and Arduino. Now we start the project. First we open Tinkercad. This is a Tinkercad dashboard and now search the component. First we search Arduino UNO. Then drag and drop here. Again we search flex sensor. This is a flex sensor. Then drag and drop here. Take a four flex sensor. One, three and last one is four. Now we search the servo motor. Take four servo motor one, two, three, and last one is four. And also take four resistor one, two, three, and last one is four. Resistor connect any terminal of the flex sensor. Now arrange the component and connect the circuit. Resistor in the flex sensor, there is two terminal, terminal and one and terminal two. In any terminal, you have to connect resistor. I have connect terminal one and also change the value of resistor one k to ten k. Second resistor ten k and the third resistor. I have to change the value third and the last one four. Now the second terminal of the resistor connect to the ground pin of the Arduino means GND pin of the Arduino. GND pin of the Arduino. Second terminal also. And second terminal of the flex sensor connect to the positive power pin. This is the power pin connect to the flex sensor. Make a red. Second terminal connect to the positive of the flex sensor. Now we rearrange the connection by passing the connection to the all flex sensor. Now, another in the where we connect in the first terminal, we have to connect also analog pin also. A zero. We can flex sensor connect to the A one. Third plus sensor connect to the A two. Four plus sensor connect to the A three. Now change the color, then you can identify the connection. Now connect the servo motor. Arrange the servo motor. This is a positive terminal. This is a negative. The ground connect to the ground of the second servo. Make a black. And now bypass the negative terminal to the Arduino. And second terminal is positive terminal. Connect to the positive.
kind of do the box with your line. And the last terminal connect to the cost of the Arduino. Now, last pin is the signal pin. Oh, there is one mistake. I have connected to the positive terminal to the. There is me one mistake. Now arrange the circuit again. Now signal pin connect to the Arduino of any digital pin. I have connect to the second. First is connect to the second. Second servo connect to the third pin of the Arduino. Third servo motor connect to the fourth of the Arduino. Connect to the fifth of the Arduino. Now connection is completed. Now we have to make a board. Click on the board section. Click on the variable and create variable. Flex one. Enter again. Flex two. Enter again. Flex three. I have to make four variable. And last one. Flex four. Click OK. Delete this code and shift the screen. You have to make a code for set one, set two, set three, and set four. You have to change the value flex one, flex two, flex three, and flex four. Also, go to the input block, read analog pin. You have to put the read analog pin and change the value a zero, a one, a two, and a three. Also go to the output block. Print to serial monitor one, two, three, and four. And go to the control block. Go to the variable block. Flex one, flex two, flex three, flex four. Flex means flex sensor. And go to the control block and take one second delay. First, we have to check the value of the flex sensor. Start simulate and click on the serial monitor and see the value is showing. You can see the value. If I rotate the flex sensor, you have to see value is 71. Second sir, value is 78. Third one is value is 83. Value is ninety five. I will put the value is less than one ten. I have to give the condition less than one ten. Delete this. Wait second. Go to the control and take a if else block. Go to the math section. Take this block. Shift the screen. Then you can identify everything. And see, go to the flex sensor. Take flex one less than one one zero. Go to the output and rotate servo. First servo is connect to the second pin. Second and degree zero. Degree ninety. Again we take first servo is connect to the second pin. Degree zero. This is the this is for the first servo motor. The first flex sensor start simulate and see the output. If I rotate first flex sensor, plus first flex sensor, you can see servo is not operating. Now we check the what is the problem. Now we check this is the first flex sensor. We can when when servo flex sensor is rotating, then you can see. 
servo is operating. Now we can do for the three flex sensor. Stop it and right click and duplicate. Now we put second flex sensor. Servo is connected for the three. Again duplicate, flex sensor 4, 3, it's connected 4, servo is connected 4 pin, again duplicate it, servo flex sensor 4, we have to put, value is 5, now you can see, this is the block code, for the robotics arm. Now start simulate and see the output. When flex sensor is rotated, now you can see flex sensor is rotating, rotating then servo also rotate, then second flex sensor and see the output. Third, the last one is two. This servo is not operating, servo, third pin is not operating, we have to check the circuit and code. I have checked the code, there is no problem for the network delay. Now start simulate, again we operate, if we operate first flex sensor, then first servo motor is operating. This is a network delay, that's why servo is not operating second servo and the third servo and the fourth servo. You can see if condition is follow then servo will operate. I have given the condition if servo, servo flex sensor value is less than 110 then servo operate 90 degree otherwise servo is 0 degree. You can see now you can check all the servo in 0 degree. Again we have to change the value then putting less than 110 and servo is operating. Now go to the code section you can see the text code also. This is a block cluster this is a text code you can download the text code also. I, I also given the link to download the text code. Now again start simulate if you have any problem you can comment also. Thank you all friends.